your buzz on social media. What do we have, Kristen? Well, you know, with kids, it's like prying teeth sometimes to get them to help with your household chores, but not so for this little boy. Check him out. Miles, you having fun? Yeah. What are you doing? I'm washing the clothes. Whose clothes are you washing? Granddaddy's. And? Grandma. That's right. You helping them out? I like that one. Crazy that he stops on that one. That is little Miles happily holding up grandma's undies. Instead of <laughs> recoiling in disgust, as many little kids might do when confronted with such a thing, he just throws it into the wash and moves on. <laughs> That's looking to see if he's age. up for hire, yeah. right? Little dude. Why are undies so embarrassing? <laughs> they shouldn't be. It's a part of life, you yeah. know? I like when they're that age and they talk like that. Everything is like, you know, this proclamation. Yeah. yeah. Doing the chores right now. Just move right just on. One of my favorite stories is one of my girlfriends who sent her son to school for like a school swimming day with a towel and a pair of her panties. Got oh. wrapped up in the towel oh. and so the kids out there fluffing his towel, you know, up by oh the swimming pool. Oh, Embarrassing no. when she had to hear about yeah, that. Sure. At the Aww. end of the day. All right, up next, the world <laughs> is full. I, I'm sure she enjoyed you telling that story. Uh, yeah. Well, Let's relive neighbor. that moment. Yeah, unlikely friendship. <laughs> Perhaps even some in our Fox 32 newsroom. And that extends to the animal world, too. Check huh? out this lion cub and sea otter playing together. This was posted by a nonprofit wildlife group in Miami. You can see the lion struggling underneath the blanket before getting out, playing a little game of tag with the otter. Oh. Oftentimes, if these animals are raised together like this, they don't develop that predator prey mentality that they have in the wild, so they're just happy to be buddies. Yeah. Sometimes they guy. don't, other times they do, and then you'd have another video you'd show in about a year and a half oh. that would end with just the lion in the video at the end. So we hope not no, to see that. No, we don't show that. Yeah, that's not the kind of TV oh. we're going Come on, for, Richard. Very that's adorable. So cute. Why like is it we love, we, you know, it, it's it's just uh, impossible not to be intrigued by animals together that oh, that's don't a, belong right? together. It's a, it's a Pixar movie right yeah. there, right? <laughs> right. It's kind we'll of have like you review the later one. The Lion and the out. Otter. And it's nice because it makes you think of like humans, like we should all get along if these two. Yeah. Yeah. My mind didn't go there, but. Oh, um, mine did. I like it. <laughs> no, it's good. And finally, a lot of students in the suburbs already back in school mm. and a lot of moms pretty nervous for their little ones who are heading off to class for the first time, but things do change as the years go by. I can attest to that. Hmm. Check out this mom's emotions when her child first goes to kindergarten. Watch. <laughs> he's not ready. I'm going back to get him. I'm going to go back and get him because he's not ready. He's only five. I don't know if he can carry his lunch tray. I don't know if he knows where the bathroom is. This car is older than him. His teacher doesn't know he needs 14 kisses every 45 seconds. That video created by blogger and mother Susanna Lewis depicting herself melting down on her child's first day of kindergarten. But oh, how things change as the years go by. Listen to her now. Hello? Yes. Manicure. Pedicure. Vegas. A little extreme, right? <laughs> Susanna, all that anxiety and worry about sending the kids to school for the first time goes away each year after kindergarten. She goes from tears and panic to thinking about when she can get the nails done. Jenny, you're uh, chomping at the bit. Yeah, over so I went to New York over the weekend and um, I was taking a cab home and there was a woman in front of me bawling her eyes out, crying and hugging someone. And I thought it was like a relationship thing. And I was like, she's going to LaGuardia, I'm going to LaGuardia. So we split a cab. So I started talking to her. I mean, she's bawling right next to me. So I'm like, you know, is everything okay? Okay. and she was dropping off her son to college, college. and it was just so oh. heartwarming so we just talked about it. I learned all about Parker and his girlfriend and what he's studying but it was just so sweet she was so torn up uh, you could not console Aww. me when I dropped my son off it wasn't kindergarten it was a preschool class and I remember wearing my biggest blackest glasses that day yeah. and walking him in there and handing him off to this lady and, and they were obviously great I knew that he was in great hands but it is and I'm gonna do the same thing when he goes to college and when I bring my cat to the vet I I experienced the same sort of emotions. My son's got a picture of us and he says he's going to put it up in his college dorm room. I'm like, okay, yeah. Uh, <laughs> we'll see about that when the time you comes. Never know. Yeah, I had, I had the emotions going right. when I said goodbye to my daughter this weekend, going back to college Aww. for a junior year. So it doesn't really ever completely end. Okay, your babies. It just changes a little bit yeah. over the years. All right, coming up here on Good Day, it's easy enough to take a boat or a bus tour.
tour of the city, but have you considered doing it via Segway? Jake's been doing it all morning long. I think he's he's come home to the Fox 32 <laughs> Plaza. That's right, guys. The tour is wrapping up, but guess what? We're ending our Segway adventure.